The atomic age has moved forward at such a pace that every citizen of the world should have some comprehension, at least in comparative terms, of the extent of this development. Even before President Eisenhower challenged the world with his famous Atoms for Peace speech in 1953, Canadian scientists were working to develop the peaceful potential of nuclear energy. In 1941 in Ottawa, George Lawrence was one of the first in the world to demonstrate a nuclear chain reaction. 1944, the National Research Council built new nuclear research laboratories at Chalk River, Ontario. 1945, the first major innovation of Chalk River Laboratories was called ZEEP, the Zero Energy Experimental Pile. With it, Canada became the second country in the world to use a reactor to control nuclear fission. 1947, the National Research Experimental Reactor commissioned at Chalk River was the world's most powerful. Its production of isotopes gave Canada the lead in nuclear medicine. 1951, the first two cancer treating machines using cobalt-60 were built by Dr. Harold Johns at the University of Saskatchewan and Roy Errington of Eldorado Mining and Refining. 1951, the world's first cancer treatment using Eldorado's Cobalt-60 machine was performed in London, Ontario. 1952, Atomic Energy of Canada Limited was created to take over the research labs at Chalk River to pursue nuclear science, technology and commercial applications. 1954, Dr. W.B. Lewis fostered collaboration between Atomic Energy of Canada, Ontario Hydro and Canadian General Electric that led to the development of the CANDU reactors in use around the world today. 1957. The National Research Universal Reactor was the world's first to refuel while operating at full power. 1962. The nuclear power demonstration facility was Canada's first electricity producing reactor. 1964. Atomic Energy of Canada developed the first commercial sterilizers used to process medical, pharmaceutical and food products. 1967. Douglas Point on Lake Huron was Canada's first commercial scale reactor and the forerunner of CANDU. 1970. The Chalk River Labs began conducting groundbreaking research in human cell genetics significantly advancing medical research programs around the world. 1973. When Pickering A was completed, it produced more electricity than any other nuclear power station in the world. 1983. Candu reactors held seven of the top ten places for lifetime performance worldwide. 1987. The Bruce Nuclear Power Development was the largest nuclear site in the world. 1987, CANDU was honored as one of the top 10 Canadian engineering achievements of the past century. By 1993, Canada had 22 nuclear reactors in Ontario, Quebec and New Brunswick. 1994, Alberta's Dr. Bert Brockhaus won the Nobel Prize for Physics for his work on materials research using neutrons at Chalk River. 1996, the sale of two CANDU reactors by AECL to China was the largest contract between China and Canada at the time. For more than six decades, Canada has been a world leader in nuclear research, medicine and electricity production and renowned for our nuclear know-how.